Hello and welcome Taurus. All right, so Taurus, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with your situation. That's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest. Just don't stress yourself out about it if it's not your message, okay? Um, also, I'm going to be looking into like messages from your person. This could be from anybody who's just got a message for you. So we'll definitely kind of see how it plays out. Um, and I know these readings can be kind of triggering, you know, brings up some emotions and feelings, but you know, that's okay because that also lets us know where we may, you know, still need to do some healing. So, all right. So, but again, at the end of the day, always use your best discernment, you know, make your own decisions because you know your situation. Okay. If I could get it here. We want one more. Bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. So direction and willpower. So you could be kind of dealing with wanting to make some changes or something, needing to change, you wanting to change something, um, because I do feel like you are ready to move something forward. And I also do feel like with willpower, I feel like you are looking into it, like you're trying to find the strength or something. Um, here you have the ace of wands. And again, look at that. Let me show you that really quick. See how willpower is written on both of the cards? Hopefully that caught. Okay. Um, but you have the Ace of Wands, you have the Star card, you have the Six of Rings, and then you have the Dawn of Rings. So what I keep getting for you, Taurus, is I do feel like you are, much like the card says from the Dawn of Rings, you are reflecting um, I do feel like you're trying to figure some things out. I feel like, you know, you're always giving to other people. You're always helping other people, always providing your assistance, your generosity, always there when you're needed. And I feel like a lot of people really kind of tend to rely on you, um, really kind of lean on you for, you know, support and encouragement, um, you know, even just a shoulder to cry on. I feel like a lot of people really tend to kind of just find comfort with you. Um, with harmony and renewal, I kind of feel like, especially with this ace of wands, ambition, willpower. I feel like you're wanting to either take things, you know, to, to the next level for some of you. I keep getting like, this is an awakening, um, for like some kind of calling that you're receiving, maybe, you know, getting into, um, like, you know, the spiritual world, um, you know, maybe healing, maybe some of you are thinking of reading tarot cards. Maybe some of you are thinking of doing like, um, you know, Reiki healing, um, you know, chakra work, you know, whatever this is, I kind of feel like, you know, I, I keep getting counseling. Um, I keep getting physical therapy. I keep getting, again, being in like a healing field. So no matter, you know, what the field is, I, well, I mean, I, I feel it's healing, but no matter what, you know, the title is, I feel like this is what you're, you're going towards. This is what you're aiming for. This is a goal that you're, you know, you're wanting to definitely go after. I feel like that, that passion has really kind of been lit again, star card. I keep getting destiny. I keep getting something, you know, this is your destiny. This is your calling. And I feel like, you know, you're just, you're wanting to help people. You're wanting, I keep getting, you're wanting to, um, oh, what am I trying to say here? You're trying to like expand your reach. Uh, that's why I don't know if you're, you know, doing something like on the computer, because, you know, I mean, honestly, that's how you're able to, you know, just my little YouTube channel, I'm able to reach all over the world. And it kind of feels like that's what you want to do. That's like your aim. That's your goal. Hmm. And I know I said I was going to get into uh, messages, <laughs> um, but that had to, that had to come out first. Now, with that being said, um, I keep getting something about traveling. I don't know if you are traveling. I don't know if this person is traveling towards you. Um, but I do feel like somebody has been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting. So did, this does feel like someone you know. So I'm going to start off with that. It, it does feel like someone that you've possibly had a friendship or a relationship with. You know, again, use your own discernment to see who, you know, you kind of feel like this is resonating with. Um, but I do feel like, you know, again, somewhere along the lines, the two of you kind of went in separate directions. I also kind of feel like there is some kind of toxicity or some kind of, um, I don't know if this is within, like I said, the friendship or the relationship. And that's why we had to part ways or it's like we parted ways and then we just kind of fell into, you know, some bumps along the way trying to figure some things out. Um, maybe we had to do some healing on our own because like I said, I do kind of get a level of, 
some kind of toxicity, you know? Um, so it does feel like healing was really needed here. Okay, but I, I still feel like somebody wants to um, reach out. Because like I said, I keep getting like this person's been thinking of you. Um, you know, you've been thinking of this person. Like I said, I feel like this person wants to reach out. Okay. So we have the five of wands. Yeah, I, I do. I feel like this person is struggling. I feel like this person is struggling to kind of find their way. Um, this could possibly even be you struggling to find your way. But it kind of feels like both of you are kind of struggling without each other. I don't know if this is talking about... See, we have the lovers here, and I was getting ready to say, I don't know if this is talking about like a twin flame relationship, soulmate, but I do feel like things are at a distance. Hmm. And I do feel like you've been waiting for this person to reach out or kind of wondering if this person would ever reach out. I do feel like a part of you has hoped that they would. And like I said, I do feel like, you know, the reason you're still kind of feeling this person is because they're still feeling the connection to you. And I do feel like they have been thinking about reaching out. Again, I keep getting travel. I keep getting distance. Um, I keep getting like separation. This could be like, you know, quite some time that the two of you have been separated. Um, six is somehow relevant. I keep getting, I do get sixes. I get six and seven. All right. We also have the lovers. We have the hanged man. And then we have the five of wands. Like I said, I do feel like somebody is kind of struggling, um, struggling with willpower, struggling with, um, I, I keep getting like trying to find that passionate new beginning or trying to find a new beginning, something they're excited for, something they're happy about. Um, and like I said, there's, there's kind of a struggle there with the, I also kind of do feel like somebody's feeling like there is competition. So again, maybe that's why we're not reaching out. Um, is because maybe, you know, somebody's already, you know, booed up. Maybe somebody's already got, you know, a relationship going. And that's why we're not reaching out. With the hanged man and the lover's card, you know, it, it kind of does feel like we might have to make a choice here. It kind of feels like things have been stuck. It kind of feels like, you know, somebody doesn't, like I said, they're struggling with what they want. They're struggling to kind of find themselves, struggling to kind of figure out, you know, what's going to make this happen or how am I going to start this healing process? How am I, I keep getting struggling to find harmony within their life just to kind of feel like at peace. All right. So clarifying the star, um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. We have some earth signs here. Um, we also have fire. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Empress, and we have the High Priestess. Yeah. So, okay, again, I have to go back to the struggle that I, I keep picking up on. Somebody's definitely, like I said, struggling to find harmony, struggling to find their way. I do feel like they want to contact you because that's when they felt, that's when they felt like at their, at their most, like they, they really felt themselves. Um, and like I said, you, and I started, and funny enough, when I started this reading, the, the strongest message that I had to start with first, even though I was just trying to focus on like messages from your person, I had to start with and focus on the fact that you're a very healing person. And that's why I kind of feel like this person has been struggling. I feel like the two of you definitely met for a reason. Just like, I mean, I feel like, you know, that's just how it is. You know, we all meet people for a reason for sure. But I feel like the two of you really crossed paths for a reason. It was part of your destiny. I also feel like, you know, again, both of you are kind of struggling in your own ways. But I feel like this person, like I said, I keep getting possibly a twin flame relationship um, or even for some of you, just like a soulmate, because I keep getting um, triggering. I keep getting, you know, this person, like I said, really needing healing. And that's why they're kind of being drawn back to your energy. And I feel like that's why, you know, you're kind of thinking of this person as well. Um, you know, the Empress, they're seeing you as being someone very encouraging, you know, very loving, very, very nurturing. Um, I, I keep getting like, you never gave up on them. I keep getting, you are always there for them. Like you always try to show them, you know, again, that encouragement, that unconditional love, because I feel like in the past, this person has had a lot of conditional love, you know, love that comes with conditions. You know, I, you know, those rules, those, you know, I can only love you if this happens or, you know, if you're like this or, you know, I, I keep getting like kind of trying to be boxed in and, you don't like being boxed in. This person doesn't like being boxed in, but I feel like in the past, that's been your person's 
relationships or your person's situations with certain people. It could even be their parents, their siblings, you know, their family, their, you know, whatever. But I feel like that's how this person has always been treated. But when they met you, that's when they found unconditional love. So, you know, again, it's, they notice the differences, um, you know, the 10 of pentacles, that's when they felt, you know, supported. That's when they felt secure. That's when they, they realized that, you know, there is a better version of myself, but now I want to go find them. And I feel like that's kind of why the two of you separated was, you know, two paths again, possibly long distance for some of you, because I keep getting that, especially with like the mountains, the water, I keep getting like two different scenes. All right. Six of rings. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the judgment card and we have the four of cups. Yeah. So even though somebody has been trying to ignore the connection, somebody has been trying to ignore their feelings, ignore communicating anything like that. It, it's not because of you. It's because there's something within themselves that they're trying to fix. So first and foremost, that's the most important thing that I have that's coming across to me to get to you, to tell you is, you know, Taurus, I feel like you have been patient with this person. Like I said, you may have been hurt because it feels like, you know, you were in their corner, you were supportive, you were encouraging, you know, and this person, like I said, had to, it's almost like they avoided that in a sense, because one, they never had it before. Two, they didn't know how to handle it. Three, when you're broken on the inside and you don't know how to love yourself, you can't give a healthy love to someone else. So this is something within them that they are acknowledging that I feel like you kind of triggered within them to show that there is something that's broken, something that needs to be fixed and healed. And I kind of feel like, again, that's the reason for the separation. That's why I keep seeing the two separate paths, because it feels like your person has to focus on that. It kind of feels like your person is somewhat, you know, avoiding it or doesn't know how or where to begin with this work. But there is unfinished business between the two of you, and they do recognize that. Nine of Pentacles, I also do get this is a very independent person. I also get that this is very, um, you know... I keep getting your person kind of lacks confidence, but because they lack that confidence or they kind of feel that insecurity, they come off as kind of being overly confident at times. Um, you know, kind of like, you know, I've got this, I can handle this, like, you know, but in reality, it's like inside, they're just kind of like, you know, there's high anxiety, you know what I mean? Um, but like I said, you know, they put on the facade of, I've got this, I can handle this, I'm confident, you know, I'm outgoing. But in reality, like I said, there's some insecurities there. Um, like I said, I do feel like they know that there's unfinished business here between the two of you. Um, and right now, like I said, it kind of does feel like they are avoiding certain things, avoiding possibly, like I said, communication, because they're still trying to figure out their own healing process. So, you know, again, don't take that out on yourself. Don't ever think, you know, what did I do? Because it's nothing that you did. You know, it's it was meant to happen, you know, this whole process. All right, so we have... Clarifying that Dawn of Rings, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Four of Wands, and we have the Chariot. Again, I feel very strongly for a lot of you, this is a, a twin flame connection. I usually don't like labeling connections because sometimes I feel like it kind of takes away, and that's why I don't, you know, call out in individual signs. Um, however, I felt it was important to call out, you know, this could be an earth sign, this could be a fire sign, this could be a, um, um, air sign, most importantly, the air sign coming through to me would be Aquarius. So again, those felt kind of important to call out. Um, you know, again, I do get, um, with the chariot, four of wands and the seven of swords, like I said, it feels very strong to me. You could be dealing with your other half. You could be dealing with your twin flame. That's why you can't let go. And that's why you don't want to give up or let go of this person. And I kind of feel like it's vice versa, even though they're kind of avoiding or they're ignoring, or you feel like they're just, you know, shutting down, ignoring you completely. Like, no, they're cl clearly, they've moved on. They really haven't. All is not what it seems here because they have not moved on. And I'm seeing that. I'm feeling that there's unfinished business. There's unspoken truths between the two of you. You're keeping your feelings. They're keeping their feelings. It's not being spoken right now, but I feel like it will be. I do feel like we're going to get that chance, especially with the chariot, because look at the bottom. We have the chariot coming out here. It was on the bottom of the um, the main deck that I used. And then we have the chariot here. 
So I do feel like we are going to make some progress. We are making progress currently. We're moving forward. Um, you know, and see how she's, she's got the bicycle in this particular chariot, you know, and I kind of feel like, you know, it may seem kind of slow or feel kind of slow, you know, again, seven of swords, you know, you may think they're just, you know, like I said, I keep getting all is not what it seems. It may look like they've moved on. They're completely happy. They're all smiles, this and that. But I'm not feeling that at all, Taurus. I'm feeling like this person is still stuck. This person is still trying to figure some things out, trying to, you know, find their healing. Um, like I said, with the chariot, they're trying, you know, they're trying to get up and going, but it's just, it's not happening. I still feel like they're going to make their way back to you. The chariot follows the star. Um, like I said, this was definitely destined. This was definitely fated. So this person is coming back. I just want to get a couple oracles for Taurus. I should have fought for this. Yeah. You know, on the bottom of the deck, I got to show you that. I love you. I should have fought for this. Yeah. Like I said, I definitely do feel like there are some regrets from this person about this connection you know, but it's like, we can't take it back. So what can we do, but focus on healing, moving forward and then trying to reconnect. So I do feel like your person is being responsible, acknowledging their faults, their responsibilities, you know, and they're taking full responsibility and they're, they're just trying to figure out, you know, yeah, see, I'm trying, don't give up on me. I got to show you, I almost put it down. Um, but it says, you know, I think about you day and night. I do feel like, yeah, this person definitely does think about you day and night. Oop. Okay, I dropped one. Okay, um, good intentions. So yeah, like I said, I do feel like this person does have good intentions. You know, it may not seem like that, you know, um, with you right now or with how things have, you know, happened. But this person is getting on a good path. And like I said, they are taking responsibility for their own actions, things like that. So progress is being made. You just may not be able to see it right now. Um, bottom of the deck, reconciliation. And I do feel like, yeah, there's definitely going to be some reconciliation with this person, with this connection, because there's unfinished business here. Um, and this person doesn't just want to walk away. Um, I kind of feel like this person can't just walk away. They can ignore you right now. But yeah, patience is running thin um, for the situation. I feel like on your side as well, um, because I feel like you feel it too. We also have September. Um, bottom of the deck. <laughs> situation requires patience. So again, patience is really needed, even though your patience may be running thin with this person or this situation. You could possibly receive some communication in September, which is next month. Um, so, you know. There's always that timeline, but all right. Well, Taurus, that is what I have for you. So hopefully this helps. Um, thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, like I said, this person is going to be reaching back out and I do feel like healing really can occur if you don't want, remember free will, you do not have to take this person back if you don't want to, but you can get closure from this person. So, um, just throwing that out there. But all right, again, thank you guys so very much. Enjoy the rest of your week. And as always, take care.